Gardner, Charles Davis, the best guard crew in the history. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This is a presentation of the NFL. I was pleased how they played, play. and, and it felt like Tokyo's confidence was returning also. I was really believe he had a decent chance of turning his season around. Today, from Buffalo Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, it's a special New Year's Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone, and this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. through tacklers at the 30. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And the Washington first down. From the gun, Santos. And he slings one that's incomplete. He was looking that time for Stills, and now it's second down. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes the starch right out of them. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Four catches, 67 yards. And you can tell early, they're going to look his way quite a bit. And he made himself available on that one. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a very nice game there, a confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. 
On first and ten, Santos almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Allen Robinson. Robinson with touchdown number eight on the year. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. As they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. A gain of 19. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. So, Charles, you think about this ball game, really, the stakes could not be much higher, especially for a contest that takes place in the regular season. Wouldn't you agree? Without a doubt, partner, because the adrenaline is pumping throughout this stadium, including right here in the announce booth. And let's face it, we can see a playoff berth clinch today, and that's got to be the top story. But if that's the case, it also means we're witnessing a comeback for the ages, capped in the best way possible, because less than one year ago, we weren't sure whether or not we'd see this quarterback step on the field again and play at the level we once saw him play. Now he's almost certainly to win comeback player of the year, and there will be some MVP buzz if he secures his team a playoff spot. So a nice throw there, and Charles, you think about the pressure in a ball game like this. Is there any additional pressure here on the quarterback in this ball game? I don't think so, because I don't think he has to prove that he's back to 100%. He's proven that over the course of the last four months. But is there a little extra weight on your shoulders, especially when you're a quarterback when a playoff spot is on the line? Oh, that is definitely true. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Operating from the gun, Santos. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Kenny Stills, his 11th touchdown of the year. And one. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. You know, he's been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that start. To throw on third down. Santos slings this deep from the... And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 29. It's a big play there for Washington on third down. 44 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. 
Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 14. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Got a man, it's Gibson complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and 10. When a linebacker's able to sit at the second level and see things develop in front of him, as soon as he got a hint that the quarterback was checking it down, he just made a beeline. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and a big turnover there as he... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Gibson powers through again. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And he finds Stills complete. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. <laughs> so, so your rival shocked everyone and signed with you guys in the offseason. What did he bring to the team? There was an adjustment period for everyone involved. Guys were skeptical it could work, but once they saw that him and I were cool, everybody bought in.
Midway through your career, you found yourself fighting to keep your starting position. Yeah, fortunately, I already had plenty of experience doing that thanks to high school and college. I can clearly remember the day coach called me into his office to tell me they signed him. I couldn't shake feeling there was more to this than what Coach was telling me. Looking back, it should have been obvious what was about to happen. Of course, the signing came up at the next press conference and the reporter's question made me realize just how serious things were. I think we all knew this was only the start of what was going to turn out to be a long battle. The next day he made it very clear management was looking to replace me. Still, we had a job to do. No hard feelings, but plenty of tension. It wasn't his fault, but I wasn't looking forward to spending the rest of the year defending my position. You saw exactly what I saw, did. Their offense has been talking smack about us. I was under a lot of pressure to perform, and the media scrutinized every misstep, creating even more controversy. I had to be honest about what wasn't working and I'd have to redouble my efforts to make sure those issues wouldn't become more serious later on.
today. From Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. Takes it at the seven. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. The ball carrier. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 16 carries, 80 yards. That's a good start to the season. They got the win, and they were able to establish a good running game. Nothing that just blew people away, but a nice, solid base to get things started. And they expect that to get tuned up and get better as the season moves on. An early task. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try and fight for it here with Campbell. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. They'll run on first down. Campbell. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Javon Kinlaw busting through to get him for a loss of six. They had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. 20-yard line. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Campbell. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Rolling to his right. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So week two of the NFL, and already a lot of questions about the quarterback position. We know there was competition for the starting spot in the preseason. Ultimately, they stuck with their man, but you know, I'm not too sure anyone should read too deeply into how strong his hold is on the spot. Well, it certainly hasn't been much of a secret that they haven't been enamored with his performance thus far, and you know they brought in competition to light a fire under him. I think that's backfired on them a little bit. I think he's pressed too much. And because of that, his performances haven't been what he's wanted, nor what the team has wanted. They'll run on first down. Campbell. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Brought down at the 23-yard line. A game of four. It's now second. On second down. It's Campbell. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Washington, nothing. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Here's Campbell, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A great play. The 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Washington. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. the Washington first down. Back to throw now on first down. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly as that one just... And he fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And Washington... Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Campbell. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. third down. It's Campbell and he is going to have the first down and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Well, Brandon, they're getting to 2-0, and, oh, and this time they're able to take a knee at the end and secure the victory. Preseason, coach said their goal. They obviously want to win everything. He said, I think we can get off to a 3-0 and oh start. Well, here they are looking at 2-0 and oh right now. Washington getting the victory here. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for Washington, there was a great all around. I delivered up to the hype. So when coach called me in, I figured it was to lock me in as the starter. But things are never quite that simple. The matter still wasn't settled, and I'd have to be ready for anything and everything.
All right, fellas, listen up. We've talked about this all week. This league has too many good teams for us to win games with average performance. It takes perfection. I knew what coach had called me in to talk about, but even then, it didn't make the moment any easier. I'd given it my best, but ended up losing the position to the other guy. After that, I had a couple of days to think about the next chapter of my life. After the roster battle, you suddenly found yourself a star without a team. What did you do next? I called my agent and explained the situation. I don't know how she does it, but a few days later, I had a contract with... A big win in your debut with a new team. What a rush that must have been. I was just glad to put it all in the past and get back to doing what I love, playing football.
today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. And the quality of opponent goes up a notch here in this divisional round. But he's coming off such a sensational performance, I'm not sure he cares. Four touchdown passes in the last game, and you'd have to imagine his head coach would sign up for that right now. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. And that is caught. Boy, how about that one? He reeled it in one-handed for a touchdown. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Pats have taken the early lead. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown by the way. Extra point by Carlson. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. On first and ten, Santos got an open man. It's Michael Gallup, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. His first carry in their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's complete. He's got Lynch out of the backfield. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? At the one-yard line. One-yard line, they gave up. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. From a yard out. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. Big play there for New England. 49 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. It's second down and 10. Throwing again. Santos. This will be caught inside the 10. 
And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A five-yard touchdown run. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. Throwing on first down. Santos. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. In similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot, they run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. He'll go up top here for Hamler. And that one almost intercepted. Call it a 50-50 ball. It falls incomplete, and now third down. Incomplete. Brings up third down and 10. Off play action. Santos. Eluding the pressure right. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so... Click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So I'm AK Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.